morning guys just woke up had a really hard time waking up today because I went to sleep so late um, off to my Pilates class this is me packing for Riga I actually have no idea what to wear I'm just trying different outfits taking a bunch of accessories and bags and since the event is tomorrow I think I might decide what to wear um, in the hotel because yeah today is just gonna be a chill visiting day strolling around the city I <laughs> have some options here this is what I've packed so far just my underwear and PJs and these two items are taking up my whole luggage I need to pack my shoes and also my beauty products and I have to leave in like an hour um, we're not in a rush or anything but it would be nice to leave in an hour and I still have to have my breakfast and get ready, dry my hair, do my makeup. So yeah, just taking conditioner because they will have shampoo at the hotel, my hair care, toothbrush, uh, hairbrush, toothpaste. And then I need to take my skincare. So for that, I think, um, I think I will take these three products. Kills eye cream. This yeah, is quite big. I think I'll take a smaller one. This one. My egg is already poached, so I'm gonna take it out. Gonna have some rye bread with hemp seed, some spinach, turkey breast, mayo, some coffee, of course. My milk is already done, so just need to make my coffee. I'm gonna have this. Uh, Loch Intensity 8 1 today because I need slightly stronger coffee as I will be driving to Riga and I'm going with my mom. I think I've already said that. That's my breakfast this morning. Pretty minimal this time. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, gonna say a proper hello to you now as I'm getting ready. Um, doing last minute packing and just running all over the place basically but uh, I had a Pilates workout with my mom in the morning came back, took a shower, did my hair, did my makeup um, I didn't pack yesterday because I thought I would quickly do it today but I didn't even plan my outfits as well I mean I had ideas but I just had to do everything now my stuff is all ready now and just gonna apply a little bit of um, blusher and then I'm gonna quickly tell you guys where I'm off to so um, a very well-known Latvian brand Amorale have invited me to their fashion show in Riga um, and I'm allowed to take a plus one so my mom is my plus one and uh, the itinerary is quite full I thought it would only be the show but Turns out not, so it's gonna be a very interesting day and it's uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon we're meeting at Amorale Boutique, story of the brand, meeting and greeting the founder. Uh, then later in the afternoon production house visit, then Amorale Fashion House, exclusive insight and be behind the scenes. Then in the evening we're having celebration dinner uh, at a restaurant then we're having a transfer and going to the show and then after party so it's gonna be a very full intense day but will probably be super interesting and exciting today we don't have any plans we're going the day before so that we could visit Triga have a little stroll in the city because yeah as I said it's a super nice city and um, we'll just have some quality time together go to a spa and go to eat at a nice restaurant and just have fun it's a really sunny day and it's a little warmer in Riga than it is here in Klaipeda so yeah, I'm ready now, I'm gonna apply some Chanel Beige as I was getting ready I had a super exciting delivery finally delivered to me because I've been waiting for it and it was so unexpected and actually it arrived right on time as I'm packing for my trip um, it's actually a new luggage from a brand called Away and also their um, sort of carry-on weekender bag so yes I'm so happy I'm gonna 
unbox it with you guys on camera, uh, check everything in my new luggage and then leave. I think this is what I'll be wearing tomorrow to the boutique and um, yeah, like first part of the day, uh, my fitting as well. Just, I've shown this outfit to you guys already, I think. My vintage men's blazer, pleather trousers, these sort of cowboy um, boots, fanny pack, my new hair clips. Just planning outfits really quickly. For the show, I'll wear a designer's outfit. The timing simply could not have been better. I'm so excited to have a look at them. So this is my old luggage and I really needed a replacement because it's it's just so battered already. It's been through a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna have to check everything into my new one. And by the way, a disclaimer to you guys right away. This is a gift to me by the brand. This is actually a very, very anticipated gift because um, as I've mentioned, I'm going to Italy and only taking a carry-on with me. So this will come in so handy. Oh, and by the way, these products are made in US. So you will have to pay import duties if you order to Lithuania. Just a heads up for you guys. I don't know about other countries, but uh, they do ship worldwide. So, <laughs> okay. First off, it says, now the world is open. You can go anywhere, see everything, go off the grid out of your comfort zone or back to your roots will be with you every step of the way so get out there and stay open okay ah! so so cool i'm so happy so this should be their newest um weekender bag oh wow so I'll probably pack all my toiletries and my underwear and my comfy clothes in there just for like um, easy access my laptop as well cameras I actually chose the colors uh, they do it in a few different colors this is a pebbled leather um, black bag they have it in like powder pink color and in other colors but if you want a non leather one but I believe the leather ones come in two, in only two shades. But it has so many, po oh, this is something cool. I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys uh, when I unbox the luggage. And you have this little compartment with more compartments on the inside. You can organize it really well. Let's take the tissue paper out. Okay, so it also comes with a shoulder strap, which is essential for a bag like this. And has really nice matte black hooks. Very good quality, like they seem super sturdy. The bag itself seems to be really high quality. The zipper is really good, like nice and sturdy zipper. Um, so let's see on the inside. This is what it looks like. It has this little flap. I'm not sure what it's for. Oh, okay. I can't remember what it's for. Umbrella? Um, not sure, I can't remember. But this is basically like a secret pocket on the bottom that goes all the way like um, through the bottom of the bag. I guess that's for your umbrella, I'm not too sure. But yeah, basically everything goes into this flap. And then you have, wow, this big compartment here, which will be for my laptop. So you just place your laptop here and clip this section. Can you guys see? Yep. And then on the other side, <laughs> you have a zipper compartment and then two pockets. Actually two pockets on both sides. So that's amazing. I love when bags are like that. And you have this hook on the inside where I guess you can attach your keys to it. I love when bags have so much like organization to them, like little compartments like that. So you can make everything nice and tidy inside. 
That's so cool. So this is going with me. Now the big boy, let's open my luggage together. Are you guys ready? It is so well packaged. Let me tell you that. When you spend this much money on a luggage, it's supposed to be packed like this. Okay. Look at that, you guys. Wow. That's amazing for storing your luggage. Um, you know, it's like a nice protector so your, your luggage won't get scratched. And if you don't want to keep your luggage in there, you can definitely keep like bed sheets in there or laundry even. That's so nice. Oh my goodness. So I actually got a slightly more premium aluminum um, luggage. So they have their classic ones uh, in so many different incredible colors that you can choose from. Uh, but they also have this aluminum option and I believe there are three different colors. So silver, rose gold and gunmetal. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken and I got the silver one which is sort of like a classic um, aluminum luggage shade Wow it is so beautiful ah! I'm so excited Wow okay but I'm gonna try and demonstrate it to you guys really quickly so it spins around all the way which is essential for me i've actually watched quite a few reviews on away luggages i'm personally very well aware of all the details but um maybe i need to do a separate review on this look at the handles how satisfying is that and then so the closure it doesn't have the usual zipper like uh, other ones do it actually has these poppers you press and your luggage opens. Wow, it's like a treasure box. It's so beautiful and so high quality. I've actually never owned such a stunning luggage before. Okay, so you have one compartment here and then what's inside? Oh, okay, so you have two little sections. Then I guess this is like information on it then in here um, a luggage tag in case it goes missing so that's handy okay and then on this side you have these oh my god even these are so well made they're like shiny <laughs> straps so I guess you unclip this I have this little bag sort of pocket thingy um, then in here oh I believe this is a laundry bag yes it is which is how amazing is that right comes off with a little popper so this is where you can keep your dirty laundry and then you also got this clear pouch and on the inside this is just insane look at that you have a power adapter, but like for every country with lots of different uh, heads. And then you can put your USB uh, cable in there. That's incredible. And one of the coolest things about away luggages is that they have a built-in power bank that you can actually take out at the airport if you need to check in your luggage. And it's always here by the handle so let's pull this up this is where the battery goes you open up and it says to check this bag first remove the battery flip open the charging port and push down on the face it will pop right up there's no battery inside They even send you a card. There's actually no battery on mine. Maybe it's in one of the boxes or something. I don't know, but there should be a battery. Uh, you can basically charge your phone in here 
or your tablet or whatever so yeah this is my new baby it's so so beautiful and you have the handle on the side as well so if you need to carry it like that okay. let's check the wheels it is so smooth look at that wow all right so i'm gonna put everything from this old luggage into this new one and i'm just so happy with it thank you so much away and obviously because it's aluminum it will get scratched very very quickly it will get lots of dents and stuff and marks um so you'll be able to see the history of the luggage it's not gonna stay like that super nice and clean and shiny so let's have a last look at it being super clean and shiny because it's gonna change very soon and i said i'll show you something about the bag so when you pull the handle up you have this gap here and you can just place the bag like this which i think is amazing all right so I'm ready to go. Okay guys, I did find the battery. I just had to unzip this part and here we go. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, it has actually has two USB ports, which is just insane. I'm finally ready to go. Just packed everything. It's really tight. I don't know why I'm taking so much stuff with me, but I need to have options. So, Okay, let's try and close it. I'm all packed and ready to go. This is my travel outfit. I just have a white hoodie underneath. On top of it, just this vintage men's jacket. My manga trousers, these are pretty old. Vintage bag and my Zara sneakers. So yeah, really comfy. Sitting. my legs actually ache because they had to be constantly on the accelerator so we came to this mall shopping mall called spice because I actually forgot my bikini so we will quickly go to H&M and I'll get a bikini um, because we will be staying in two different hotels with a spa so I cannot miss spa opportunities so so I took burrata, cherry tomatoes, yeah, just like a fresh salad. My mom is having buckwheat noodles with avocado and yeah, salad. Having ginger beer, so bon appetitos. So yeah, we just ate at Pagam's. It was exactly what I needed, some fresh food, tomatoes and burrata. Perfect for it's half past nine at night, so pretty late. Uh, we're going to the car now. It's probably super dark and you cannot see me. But I'll show you guys when we are at the hotel. The day is over. We're finally here in Riga. We had a really nice um, dinner at Pagalms, which is just a great restaurant i've been there twice now and i really really like it and some of you guys actually recommended it as well i've been there in summer so it's a completely different vibe eating inside instead of outside but it's still really cool um so yeah we've checked into our hotel which is called uh opera hotel and spa and uh yeah i told you guys i forgot my bikini bought a bikini i'm gonna show you in a minute so it's already too late to use a spa i think it's like 10 p.m now so we might go to a spa in the morning my mom and i and yeah now i'm gonna show you our room this is actually the top floor the fifth floor and it's the hotel is right in front of stockman uh which is this big um really nice department um store and yeah it's a pretty good location the building is really old i believe this is old town i'm not too sure correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah like the bus station is uh super close as well so all right uh let me show you guys our room 
this is what it looks like um, and we have a roof window which is dark now so you cannot see but I love these I'm not sure what they're called in English but the wooden panels oh my god I love them so much so yeah uh, when you enter the room you have this little desk then our bed a little TV and then this big wardrobe which is very handy and then in here we've got a bathroom so this is what it looks like it's nice and neutral just the way I like it and here's our shower this is almost like a very tranquil cave to just relax to go to a spa and relax um, in this room so yeah I just feel super peaceful and I'm actually really tired. I think it's all the driving. We actually got not lost, but let's say sidetracked while driving. Um, and yeah, we're finally here, ready to relax. Actually, the plan was to come to Riga earlier and visit the city, but as you can see, we came super late. I mean, sometimes you plan and it doesn't always work out, right? So yeah, we're here super late so no visiting of Riga whatsoever maybe we'll squeeze in some touring tomorrow but tomorrow like the schedule is really tight so we'll see so i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow now i'm gonna go take my makeup off and we have breakfast here at the hotel tomorrow morning and i'll see you tomorrow bye morning guys we just woke up slept like a baby don't even remember falling asleep so now we're off to get some breakfast and then probably go to the spa. I'm wearing my gym wear, because why not? And I will see you at breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys the bikini I got. It's so random. I like the color and style of this one. It was in the H&M sale section, one euro. Uh, but I kind of think I'll use it again, definitely, I like the color combination. Couldn't find any bottoms in the new collection or in the sale, so went to reserve. Apparently high-waisted bottoms are a thing now, like every single shop has these high-waisted bottoms. Um, so I don't know, they're not necessarily very flattering, but I got these ones. And they're a new collection, reserved, 10 euros. So I think I'll still use both of them. I mean, it's not just for one time that I got them. So now I'm gonna jump into this random bikini. We got our bathrobes. Thank you. Her and this one. Ooh. 